Hey everybody, blessings to you. This is Pastor Ben Lim here. I'm so excited to have our guest today, Pastor Evangelist Brian Trejo. I mean, Brian with two ends, right? Not just one. But, uh, I mean, this man of God, he, he is a soldier for Christ. Uh, he's sold out. Uh, I love everything about him and just who he is and what he walks in. And we're so excited to have him at Red Rock Crusade this weekend. Come on. But uh, Pastor Brian Threhill, welcome uh, to our show and our program today. Hey, how you doing, man of God? It's an honor to be here. Thank you. Come on. So good. You know, I mean... I've heard about you and, of course, Kingdom Music Fellowship. Listen, if y'all love rap and hip-hop, listen, it's okay to like rap and hip-hop, especially if it's Kingdom Music, right? And that's your yes. Kingdom Music. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I've heard some of your stuff. I love the lyrics, love the beats. You can feel the anointing of God on it. Uh, yeah. But you know, I've heard about you and Kingdom Music, you know, years ago through a number of mutual friends. And, uh, you know, it's just such an honor to have you. We're going to have you and... Uh, you know, one of uh, your, your your members of Kingdom Music Fellowship, lucky, uh, you know, at the uh, Red Rock Crusade this week. But uh, you know, so blessed to have you. Man, thank you guys for having us. Uh, you know, I, I've been watching what God has been doing with you. And, and we, we know some of the same people, man. And I, man, everything's God's time and his perfect time and ordained. And I just can't wait to get out there and lift up the name of Jesus and, and just watch what God does best, man. Transform human hearts. Come on, so good. And you know what? We we might have to uh, hit a freestyle together at least. So, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, got, I got some flow in me too, you know. But, uh, but you know, I mean, I, I just love who you are, what you carry, man of God, because uh, I've seen some of your videos and literally it, it's an evangelistic crusade. People are getting saved. People, yeah. Yeah, people are getting saved. There's people are throwing cigarettes, needles, people you know, are coming to the Lord, and there's such a powerful presence, even as you're ministering with rap and hip-hop and with music. I mean, talk to us about that. Yeah, so so the music is a tool, right? And um, like I was saying earlier, um, I was telling you how the, mu the rap music used to pollute me and pollute us in the neighborhood. Like, I had a theme song for everything I used to do. If I was selling dope, I listened to trap music. If I was, was going to go re retaliate or revenge, I had murder music, gangster rap. And same thing for, for the women. I had sensual music. So the music was always used as a tool against us by the enemy. So now that, that I got saved, I didn't want to rap no more because I've always rapped for the neighborhood. And, and I was always good with it, but I was using it for the wrong message, the wrong for the wrong reason. And um, when my twin brother got murdered, I used to do music with him. And I did not want to do no more music. I was like, why would I want to rap? And, and the one I used to make music with is not here. But that when I finally I, I believe it was an idol in my life, too, because I didn't have another outlet. And I believe the enemy was using that as a way to spit poison, to spit uh, the, what was inside of my heart, which was was pain and anger. And, it, and it, it caused the curse. But when I gave it up and told God I didn't want it no more and I meant it, God began to write new songs on my heart, which started declaring healing the solution. See, back then it was just a problem. But when the Holy Spirit starts writing the, the, your, your pain, he just doesn't document pain. He documents what heals the pain, right? Like he has the answer, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And uh, so now the music became a sermon. The music became um, songs of edification. The music became songs of deliverance, songs of freedom, songs of forgiveness, songs of healing. And next thing you know, man, um, we just started, the, the atmosphere would change. It wasn't even like rapping in a club or going to a, a, a gangster rap concert. It begins to be where you lift up the name of Jesus and he begins to minister. And yes, gang members are coming to the altar, dropping their flags. Dope boys are coming to the to, to the thing with, with Glock 40s and and and, and on like co cocaine runs that they're coming high, leaving sober. Uh, demons are being casted out. We're, we're singing songs while we're laying hands on people. And I knew, though, I was like, Lord, man, I'm, I'm you are amazing. And all we got to do is just lift up your name and you do the rest. So. It's nothing hard about it. It's, it's it's just pure heart and clean hands and, and declaring God's God's saving and healing power. So I thank the Lord for for His power, His message, His glory, His music. You know you know what I mean? Wow, wow, so good. Even even as you're testifying and sharing, I mean, there's such a fire, power, authority in your voice and what you're saying, and it's the real gospel. And America today, we need the real thing. We need the real gospel more than ever before. In different streams and mediums, you know, we need it in rap, hip hop, and dance and art. We need Everywhere. it. In, we need it in politics and every realm and sphere of society, and and especially with music. And I think that's so powerful, 
because Pastor Brian, you said you felt like it was an idol, but once you gave it up, God mm -hmm. gave it back to you mm -hmm. with a greater grace with new songs and, uh, you know, with a new anointing. Talk to us about that. Yeah, so, you know, what's crazy is uh, when my brother got saved, he, my, my twin brother who got murdered, he started Kingdom Music, right? He started wow. it. So when I, when I chose to uh, forgive his murderers, when I chose to not retaliate, it, it took me to another level of obedience and submission to God. And not only that, um, I knew my brother was serious with it when he began to erase all his old music, all his old videos. And I was like, man, he's for real. And that stuck in my heart. And so when he passed, um, I'm, I'm living his dream. I'm living the vision that God, that God gave him. Sometimes it, 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 we're identical twins. And, and mm. sometimes out of, out of nowhere, when I look in the mirror and I'm brushing my teeth, Pastor, like I see my twin's face and all kind of things run through my mind. And, and, and I'm like, man, I wish you were alive to, to see the man I am today, bro. Like, like I, cause you see, he's seen a double-minded, a double-minded man. But to see to see through his death and to see what Jesus did through healing, like, bro, I'm traveling the world doing what you said you wanted to do. I'm traveling the world and I'm and you're not you didn't die in vain, my bro. Like, yeah, I'm preaching forgiveness. I'm forgiving your killers. The gospel is being preached. Like, what other great honor is it to to lift up the name of Jesus and tell my brother's story that even though he was murdered, even though he was innocent, like through through love and forgiveness. Not that not only did God save his twin brother, but God is saving man millions across the world being impacted by the power of forgiveness and love. And only God can take what's dark and bring light to it. Only God can take what the enemy meant to destroy you and use it of his kingdom. So like glory to Jesus Christ for, for taking something that the enemy said, I got you. And God said, if you submit to me, if you posture your heart towards me, look what I'll do with you. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> like and so I, so I, so I tell everybody in your pain, there's a purpose. Just posture your heart the right way and watch what God does. You know what I mean? Ooh, so good. Listen, uh, this is the gospel right now. This is the goodness of God. I'm sure everybody watching right now, there, there, you know, there's not a dry eye watching this video, this interview right now, because, you know, you can just feel the tender heartedness of God. And, and really, I, I love what you said that, uh, you know, it, your brother, you know, who in a sense, his life was taken away. But I, I love what Jesus said. Jesus says, you can't take my life away. I give it away. Hey, and, it's like, you know, it, he it's like your brother's life was a seed so that there would be such a great harvest. And, uh, you yeah. know, I think that's incredible. And, uh, you know, that bears great witness with me, uh, Pastor Brian. Uh, so so this, this is the message of forgiveness. Like everyone in Red Rock, everyone in the, in the surrounding areas, like, I want you. I'm, we, we're inviting you. Please come with your heart and heart. Come with, I, you don't know what they did to me. Come, bring that to the altar. Bring that. You don't even got to be saved. Just come. I guarantee you, if you come. That's that's your step of faith. I just want to see if this is just come. I believe I believe that Jesus will soften your heart. I believe that you will have a new heart when you leave. I believe that heart of stone will be taken from you and given a heart of flesh. I have seen it done. This is the opportunity for every single person who's listening. Listen, every single person. This is an opportunity for you to come out of that prison cell that you put yourself in the cell of unforgiveness. This is going to be amazing. This is going to be super amazing. I want you to bring your troubles, your tears, your pain, your grudges, because we're going to put it all at the altar and you're going to see what God does because you deserve it. Every single one of you, listen, you deserve to be set free. You deserve to have love in your heart. And we're so excited to, to have this open door and saying, look, Jesus wants to touch you. Jesus wants to heal your marriage. Jesus wants to take your resentment. Jesus wants to erase your bitterness. Like he wants to give you freedom, man. And, and that's what that's what we're doing this for. So I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see faces come in there with mean mugs and leave with smiles. I can't wait for people to, to come in there with them bitter tears and leave with tears of joy. This is what this is. This is the honor it is to watch Jesus do the greatest miracles I've ever witnessed. The transformation of a human heart. I love it. I love it. And, and, and I, we, we were talking about traveling, right? You're like, man, you travel as much as me. It is a sacrifice to do this, to be away from my family. It's a, my family is called to do it, but at the end of the day, when we see souls change and we see lives and families stick together, it's worth it. You guys are worth it. Every single one of you are worth it. You are worth it. Ooh, so good. So good. Listen, um, you, you found a new friend and supporter forever. 
I'll tell you that. Uh, this Amen. is incredible. And uh, I mean, you love what you do. It's obvious. I mean, you love what you do. I mean, you're not making this up. You're not exaggerating. You're not hyping it up. You love seeing people save, change, and transform. Yeah. I love, uh, you know, what's crazy is um, when you have the cure and you were sick and you got healed, when you see somebody has a symptom you used to have, you want to give it to them. You want to share it with them. I love prison ministry. We, we do. We have a prison ministry called Don't Forget the Forgotten. And um, I love to go in there because that was me. I love to go in there and remind my brothers, the people that don't nobody want to mess with. Like, that's on the end. They did this crime. They could do it this time. Like, I get it. Okay. They're, they're paying for them. But they're still sold. Jesus said, I didn't come for the righteous. I came for the sick. I came for that gangbanger. I came for that addict. I came for the prostitute. I came for that child molester, that rapist, that person that you don't even want to think about. That's who Jesus wants to save. The one you don't want to, the one that annoys you, the one you don't even want to think of. He wants to touch that heart, right? I think about the man named Legion in the tombs that, that didn't nobody want to be around. I think about the man who was isolated, the, the one that they couldn't even control. And when God brought him to his right mind and he delivers them, you know, it says that the people got scared. They were like, get out of our country, get out of our, like, instead of rejoicing, they seen a miracle of good works that Jesus did. And they're like, man, get out of here. And then listen to this. But I think about the man who tried to get in the boat with his right mind. And Jesus tells him, you can't come with me. Go and tell your family what God has done for you. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing. When I travel around the world, when I go to the penitentiaries, when I'm at the corner store, when I'm dealing with, with, the, with the people in the trenches and the dark side, I'm going and telling them what God has done for me. Because if there's hope for me, there's hope for you. And it's the cure. That's, that's why we love doing it. it. We're giving them the medicine, the remedy, the, the real deal thing. It's Jesus, man. It's the love of Jesus. It's the forgiveness of sins that only comes in him. So it's a beautiful thing to, to share that with people that maybe maybe they don't know. Or maybe they, they got a misrepresentation of who Jesus was. And they think, oh, it's not real. It is real. And we're sorry for whoever misrepresented the gospel to you. But this is the perfect opportunity for you to come sit down and let, let, let's reason together. He's, the Lord says, come, let us reason together. <laughs> come on, man. So good. So good. You know, and that's one of the reasons why I love missions. I love traveling the world, preaching the gospel in, in Congo and Haiti and Africa, you know, these places. Because mm. when you do outreach, you're doing inreach. And it's only when you give that you actually receive. Yes. And so much of the Western American church, you know, we're, you know, we're, we're, we're on hoagies and dogies and, you know, we're, we're just, you know, we're not healthy because we're, you're drinking the Kool-Aid of the world. You know, we're, we're, you know, we're entangled with the things of the world rather than really being on fire and being the hands and feet of Jesus. So, you know, we need to go out. We need to be activated. We need to, you know, love on people and see signs, wonders and miracles and, and devils cast it out. But, uh, you I love what you said because I love prison ministry too. Whenever I go to Tijuana, you know, we're always going to the prisons in Mexico and preaching the gospel there. So, uh, you know, it's actually a commandment. You know, uh, the Bible says, don't forget those that are in prison. And uh, also, uh, two thirds of, of the New Testament was written in prison. So, uh, wow. you know, some incredible uh, men and women of God in the penitentiaries. Amen. And uh, so I love yeah. that. God. Listen, uh, you know, you're talking about Red Rock. It's this week, literally yep. this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. You're going to be with us on Thursday. Literally, I mean, it's just two days away now, right? But uh, we just we just did seven weeks straight and uh, of revival in Gallup, New Mexico with the Navajo Nation. Of course, the Native Americans, uh, if you're talking about oppression, you're talking about sins, you're talking about darkness. Uh, the Native American groups, uh, people have experienced some of the worst oppression, not just in America, but on planet Earth. And yeah. uh, like literally we've been seeing seven weeks of souls being saved, people dropping their crutches, uh, glasses, you know, eyes mm -hmm. healed, tumors dissolving, cancer leaving, demons being casted out, people getting baptized by fire and by water for seven weeks. And now we're doing Red Rock state of red rock crusade and let me tell you i mean uh this stadium used to be used to sacrifice people to false gods but we're gonna gather there September wow. 3rd to the 4th to lift up the name of jesus and give jesus a sacrifice and Thank many jesus be brought to the lord so uh you know this is a big grand finale so we're so excited to have you and lucky luciano 
another incredible, powerful rapper, man of God, who's under your uh, ministry, Kingdom Music Fellowship. But we're so excited to have you on Thursday. And, uh, you know, I mean, talk to us about what you're expecting. I mean, I know you you got the fire. You're seeing souls saved. Uh, you know, you're, you're in this lane. But even as we're linking arms, joining together, what are you expecting in this time? Man, uh, I want, I want, I want to see, I want to see those who, those who have hardened hearts. I want to see those who are struggling with addiction. I don't, I don't want you to get cleaned up and and then come. I want you to come how you are. I want you to come with whatever yuck that you're dealing with. I want you to come with your unbelief and your just say, look, I don't, I'm here. I don't know if I believe or not, brother Brian. It's okay. Come. I'm. I believe. I have faith. That the God, the God who created heaven and earth will reveal his love and who he is to you. I want you to come with your marriage on the rock to divorce. Come, bring your children, bring your family. I believe the God that I serve that created heaven and earth is going to strengthen your covenant. I want you to come with your gossip tongue, your lying, your, you don't, your no self-control. I believe that the God who created heaven and earth, the blood of Jesus Christ is going to redeem you, set you free, and fill you with self-control and every fruit and every nature of our heavenly father. I love, I don't want the, the choir to come. I ain't even, I'm not trying to preach to the choir. Bring everybody from your, from the south side to the west side, everybody, your enemies, bring your, your family you don't even call like just come watch what god does if there's any type of hope inside of you that says you know what i'm gonna give this another chance please do come come expecting come thirsty you're tired you've been you tried everything your way come watch god's way is better than your ways watch what god does i expect god to move in a mighty way more than music we're not coming to entice you with music or emotions we believe in the power sound doctrine and love that god is going to continue to do what he does best he is god he is sovereign and you have a, a loved one that, that is in prison and need, that needs clarity. For, come for him. He might not be able to come. You walk for him. You come out there for him. And we're going to believe that God touches him in, the, in them cell blocks, that a revival will start inside of him, be so contagious and convicting that God will use him for prayer studies and Bible studies and, and, and whatever he can use in the compound. Just come. Come thirsty. Come expect it, man. It's going to be beautiful. Super Woo. beautiful. Glory. Hallelujah. I love this. I love this. You know, uh, even during the crusade, we have a department, one of our ministries, that's focused on eradicating human trafficking. You know, oh. girls, boys, women being sold into slavery for sex and, and other things. So we actually have a department during the three days uh, focused on human trafficking because human trafficking is a very big issue yeah. in the Navajo Nation. And of course, Jeffrey Epstein, you know, uh, you know, of course, he didn't die by accident last year, but he, he has a huge house in New Mexico that just got on the market literally six weeks ago. So uh, we're coming to see human trafficking eradicated in New yeah. Mexico. We're coming to see the alcoholism with the Native Americans. We're coming to see the, you know, the captive set free, miracle signs and wonders. I mean, we've been seeing people drop their canes, their crutches, their their glasses, tumors are, are dissolving, metals are dissolving. I mean, God is showing up like never before. So this is going to be an awesome, powerful time. We're so excited, honored to have you, Pastor Brian. Mm, and uh, amen. Uh, you know, Kingdom Music, I can't wait to just meet you in person. And it's going to be a powerful three days, powerful three days. So, man of God, uh, before you just close us out in prayer, is there anything else you, you just want to say to the people as we're about to close? Yes, uh, there's there's uh, there's always get uh messages like man I, I want you to come you're not uh, especially in New Mexico like uh, when you're gonna come to Albuquerque when you look this is the time this is the time this is the time where where you don't come for you don't come for me you don't come for the for for a pastor for you come for Jesus come having an, not an experience having an encounter come for the encounter with Jesus I believe the encounter would change your life forever the experience can come and go the encounter is forever the real encounter I love you guys every single one of you guys. Uh, um, maybe you should call your boss ahead of time if you if you got working and try to make plans to be there. Try to make plans to be there. Plan ahead so it's, it doesn't catch you off guard. Like, I just heard about this. This is a perfect time for, for you to bring everything in your life, the, the, the burdens that you carry that make, that, the burdens that you that you carry for other people that are not even yours to carry. Some of you are carrying burdens that they're heavy on you. They're not even yours to carry. Jesus said, I would take your load and I'll make it lighter. Take my burden. He said, he said, mine is, is low. It's, it's not even heavy. And, and, and I believe that so many people, if you would just come, 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 come be a daughter, come be a son. Allow your father to speak to your heart, man. He loves you. He loves you. There's hope. If you're going through pain, 
it, it, it's, it's not it's not forever. It's gonna pass. If you're going through through a journey, you're not alone. There's hope for you. And that I just want to encourage you and let you know that we love you guys. This is an awesome opportunity for all of us to lock arms, go into prayer, and, and trust and trust God to do what he does best, man. He'll fill you up if you're empty, he'll fix you if you're broken. In the name of Jesus, amen. Glory, glory, go. I, I love the man of God. You know, people are driving from Oklahoma, from Texas, from Arizona. People are driving from California. You know, I'm from Los Angeles, California. We have a whole team of 50, 60 people coming from Hawaii, from Utah, Washington. I mean, we got people all around coming for this. And uh, New Mexico is getting set on fire, people of God. And uh, we need you to come, come receive an encounter with Jesus. Your life will never be the same. Let me tell you, I guarantee it. You cannot have all of these people coming together and not expect jesus to just come and crash in it's going to be so awesome so powerful pastor brian before you pray for us uh you know just talk to us how can people find you follow you invite you you know i mean your music's uh, all out there but just talk to us real quick uh, about those details uh you can follow the ministry uh, we have www.kingdommusic.org and music with a z and um and it has the updates it has everything from that we're doing from the if you want to get plugged into discipleship, if you want to be a part of uh, the prison ministry, it has all different departments, and that that's how you can plug in. Uh, we got uh, Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, but um, we just want to lift up His name. It's it's not about it's nothing about us. It's all about Jesus, man. So if, if you if you're interested in where the ministry is and you just want to see more about it, just go to kingdommusic.org. It has testimonies and everything that we're doing. But uh, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna lead everybody into prayer. Okay, Pastor? Praise, please go ahead. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for this awesome day. I thank you, Lord, for um, the Bible says, acknowledge your name and all that we do. And our thoughts will be established and our plans will succeed. And that's what me and my brother are doing today. We're acknowledging you and knowing that uh, from the beginning to the end, from, from the praises to the, to the signs and wonders that follow those who believe, Lord, that you get the glory. Um, I just ask right now that you just begin to set things in motion, Father God, to, to those who they need the invitation, that somehow the invitation gets to them. Um, to any voice, any voice of discord or doubt, anything that's trying to keep your sons and your daughters from coming to be fed, Lord, uh, that you remove those voices and that, and that you'll have the supernatural, Father, that you have a way of drawing people to you. So we lift up your name because you draw people to you. And I just pray right now, Lord, that you begin to, um, to just fill, fill the hearts, the soil of the hearts on good ground, that the seeds will be planted in water. I pray right now, Father God, that, um, that even in this prayer that somebody is feeling drawn to you, and I pray that uh, that you'll just fill every heart and every seat of this stadium. That all of us will be touched by your love that's contagious and convicting. All of us will be baptized in your fire, baptized in your love, fresh love. That the world will know we're identified as one of yours by the way we care for one another. I pray that churches will come together regardless of denomination or doctrine or any indifferences. I pray that the body of Christ will come together as one. And I love you, Lord Jesus. I thank you. Just bless the, the ears who are listening and. Just have your way, Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Wow, so good. You can feel the presence of God. We appreciate you, Pastor Brian. All that you do is going to be a powerful time. Too short together, but it's going to be a powerful time together. We know when different graces, gifts, anointings come together, it's an explosive, multiplicative uh, type of effect that takes place. So we can't wait to have you. Listen, if you want to come, and if you want to watch, actually, everything's going to be aired live on CTN, Christian Television Network. I think it's the second, wow. third TV network, Christian TV network on Earth. So all, all three days is going to be broadcast live on CTN, Christian Television Network, all right? But uh, uh, we want to see you here, all right? You can go to redrockcrusade.org, redrockcrusade.org. All the information will be there. We can't wait to see this was Pastor Ben Lim with Pastor Brian Thrayo of Kingdom Music. We love you and can't wait to see you at Red Rock to see signs, wonders, and miracles flow to see souls come to Jesus. God bless you. Love you. See you this week.